We're back on a tiny home adventure today. Last week, I built a small little japan style tiny home, and you guys gave me a really good idea about going around all of the different worlds in The Sims 4 and building a tiny home to suit that particular world. So that is what we're going to get started today, and starting with Oasis Springs. Now, I've decided to build a mid-century micro-home today, or tiny home. So that is exactly what we're going to do today. I'm probably going to build two houses in Oasis Springs. I think we're going to go for the mid-century kind of 50s style home today. And then I also want to do a house with a lot of kind of Spanish architecture influence. So let's get on over to the lot that I've chosen and build this tiny home. And here we are, my loves, on a 20 by 15 lot in the world of Oasis Springs. And unintentionally, I kind of match the landscape with this cozy jumper that is right upon this body. And you know what? I'm kind of feeling it, to be honest with you. So this is what we're going to be doing today. I did find a really lovely reference image that will pop up on the screen for you now of this like small little mid-century vibe that I absolutely loved. And I thought it was really cute. And I've pulled out a few things that I think could match in well. So I've pulled out doors, windows, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I think that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. I found that was the like the most similar door that I could find on a short height wall. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're going to go for a tiny home. So it needs to be a maximum of 64 tiles. So without further ado, let's get on with this, to be honest with you. Let's absolutely do it. So I reckon we should go maybe six across. Let me see how wide that looks. Uh, hmm. No, I think it should be one more than that. Maybe seven. Let's have a look seven across yeah maybe like that and then i think we need to play around with floor plans so i think what i want to do is come up here maybe i could do a toilet here i do want a separate bedroom all together though i need to work like oh i place i know oh we need to work out how much this tile will. let's just get this in first 53 okay if i do like a little back bit here that's 62 i do want to lift this up on a foundation a little bit i think yeah I think that's what I want to do. And then what I can do is maybe just do like a two tile entrance with some stairs like that. And then I pulled out these windows because I think they look the most similar to that reference image. Oh, they're a bit taller than that door. I didn't really cater for that. Oh, well, we're going to crack on anyway. I'm going to flop these around here. And maybe do one on the corner here as well like that. Yeah. Yes, I like that. Okay. And I pulled out these two here, which is just literally... A plain wood. We don't have that blue. I looked for like a similar blue to what it had in the reference image, but we don't really have it. But I love these two together. So I think what I'm going to do is use this. Do I want to put that on the main build? No, I want the paneling on the main build. I'll have this on the bump out like that. So I want this paneling all the way around. And there, please. Why are you not going on there? There we go. All the way around on this part here as well. Can I just swamp that? I can. Let me see what that's going to look like. I think that'll be fine. And then roof line. Oh, I don't know how we're going to do this roof, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, but we're, we're going to try. We need to keep flaps in at the front, I think. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe like a little overhang, actually. This needs to be as flat as possible to give me that kind of mid-century vibe that I want. Okay, across to there like that. Unless I just bring that... Oh, yes, I'm going to bring that right over because then that will act as a bit of shelter onto this little like front or back decking area okay yep i'm happy with that i think that looks nice i bought out this fence as well i think this is gonna work you know let's get the stairs in whiffly whiffly and we do have matching railings to this so i'm gonna pop them on as well oh oh i'm full of that i really fucking am now there doesn't have windows on the reference images here so i don't think i'm gonna do the windows on that bit there and i don't know where i'm going to put the windows anywhere else because i haven't figured out a floor plan just yet we'll get to that and maybe here we'll go for a half gate board can i pull it right into the house or would that look weird let's get that flapping for a start yeah i think that's better and then i'll get that stone on that roof piece i want to bring a bit of pink to the forefront because i really loved that pink so i think maybe want to use a little pink trim oh that's very pink though isn't it is it just the lighting here i think it might be just the lighting Oh, I kind of like the tin kind of like lined roof. I think that's what I want to use. We'll keep it as it is for now. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, we've got the the main premise of the house done, but I do need to figure out a floor plan. Oh, here we go. Right. And as always with the tiny homes, I'm going to do all the floor plans with you. So it kind of just, you know, gives you an idea of what to do and what not. Or what not to do, in my case, sometimes, you know? You know? I think we need some kind of slidey glass window out. Slidey glass window? Slidey glass door out from the back area here. Where should I put you, though? Let's put you there for now. That might change. And then I think door-wise, I would like to go for those plain, modern-looking ones. Um, because they just, they remind me of mid-century doors as well. These ones here. Yeah, maybe if I keep the doors in these kind of positions here. So all of the doors are in one area. And then that gives us enough space to play around with in here. But we do need some lighting. So let me get some lighting out. There we go. Lights are in. So bed, I do think we're going to have to push the bed up to the wall with this build. Um, I think I'll put the bed on this bit here. Then we can do some kind of nice window area here. And maybe just a dresser rather than a wardrobe in this room. I think that would work out quite nicely, actually. And I'm thinking I've moved the door right along because I am definitely thinking that we could add in a little bit of a platform moment, you know, just for a little bit of difference, a little bit of je ne sais quoi. And I think it would absolutely work because we could do like a kitchen here, wrapping around on this bit here and then a small dining room here, just like a table with two chairs, maybe. That could work out quite nicely. And then we've got all of this space to do a living room. So I could put like a sofa along here with the TV on the wall there. Um, maybe some kind of bookcase here as well. This is obviously going to be a bathroom. And then it's got... Yeah, I think that would work out quite nicely, actually. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know where everything's, I know where everything's going. So what I want to do now is just find some good windows for this area. So let me do that. We're going to use these windows here from Discover University. And I've also put the same in the bedroom area as well. Um, and then on the bathroom, I've put some two two smaller ones. Base game, just above. Mid-century houses like a lot of... Nat they like natural light, but sometimes they think about privacy a little bit more from what I can see. So I've put these windows up high to allow natural light. But also so you don't get people peeking in and watching you have a poo. You know, because we don't want that. We really don't want that, not today. Now, I definitely want to go a little bit kitschy with this build. I really do. So I'm thinking a backyard area would be really nice. So I think what I'm going to do is bring in this fence here, the base game one, wrap it all the way, maybe just here, like this. And then I, I'm thinking about adding a pool in. Yes, I think that would work. We definitely need stairs off this side here as well. So I think I'm going to add in the same stairs as what we've got here. Put them just one, just a cheeky little one like that. I don't think I'm going to, I'm not going to do any kind of fence on here though. I'm going to keep that completely free. But I would love some kind of nice stone. Oh, I'm kind of feeling this out here. The pink kind of like flooring. I think that's very kitschy and I think it suits it. So I think I'm going to use it. Maybe out here as well. Let's have a look. Oh, do you know what? I like that. And because of that reference image, it's kind of got its own path. But I think I'll just do a simple path like that for here. And then try and copy. They've got a bit of grass here. They've got some lovely plants. So let me pull all of that out and we'll do that together. Okay, I've had too many ideas at once. So we're just going to crack on with it together. So I want kitschy grass all the way down. I think that colour is going to be maybe a little bit too green. Why don't we darken it down just... Oh God, that's very dark. Oh no, do you know what? That's, that works for me. That works. That works for me. I'm going to flop this all the way to the edge like this. And I'm going to do the same here, but I'm going to leave a gap because I've had an idea there. And then I was thinking here, what I want to do is add some gravel in, but I would love, just would this work? Oh, do you know what? Let me see. Oh, it does. It does work. So I think I'm going to add the gravel in here like this. But I've also had an idea and it's going to make you moist, darlings. It really will. I'm going to bring this all the way along to here. That gravel kind of like connects into a driveway. And then what I'm going to do is pull this all the way on one side to there. And then I think I'm going to build a wall to about there like that. Oh, I'm kind of feeling it. Use that same stone. Bring the stone over to this side as well now. I mean, if that doesn't make you moist, then you 
need to go to a doctor. <laughs> um, Aiden, just shush, please, for goodness sake. Honestly. Right. And I'm going to I'm going to travel this all the way over, I think. And I would love a fence, but I'm thinking about putting, a, a, I mean, a gate. But I'm thinking about putting the gate over on this side. We'll see what happens. And then this may have to go toil toiler, taller. But I've had a, a, a thought about putting these in. Because these just scream mid-century to me as well. Oh, yeah, I do need to go slightly taller. Let me see that. Oh, oh I'm feeling it, I tell you. I'm not going to put any on here. No, I'm going to keep that as it is. Je ne sais quoi, you know? Yeah, I've also pulled out a planter. I forgot to mention that, but I was far too excited about this moment here. We need a kitschy car. And there is nothing more kitschy to me than a lovely little mini. So I'm going to flop a mini in. Oh, I like the green. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I do like that indeed. Yes, indeed, they do. And then, as I said, I did want to get a gate in. So I'm going to wrap this. Uh, I don't know if I want to go all the way. No, I do. I'm going to go all the way to here. Now, I always forget this fence doesn't come with a matching gate and I'm fuming. Um, I do like the style of this. I just don't like the colour. And that colour's a little bit off. Oh, do you know what? That's fine. We'll use that one. So, what I want to do now is just pull out a little bit more landscaping. Let's get some flamingos out as well. I'm thinking about making this soil instead of grass, instead of like a lawn and just having this as the lawn. And this is what I've done. So, little green area with some rocks and some outside lighting. I put some outside lighting up by the door as well, including in the carport and going down the little driveway there. We've pulled out two flamingos kissing because what is a mid-century house without two fling flamingos kissing? Mailbox. I've also done a bin around this side and I didn't like the way the bin was looking. So I've kind of wrapped this piece here from Dine Out and made my own little kind of like hidden away patio area, which in turn made me get rid of that gate. I was just kept looking at that gate and I was just like, Ugh, I don't like it. But I think that looks really cute. I think that looks very nice indeed. I'm happy with how that has turned out. I really am. So what we're going to do now is work on the back garden area. So first things first. I need to hide that pool trim. Can we get one of these in? Would this look okay in here? Oh, it does. Oh, okay. Well, we'll do that then. We'll get the pool trim there. I'm going to maybe put the ladder right in the middle of the pool around here. Let me get that. Let's get work with the grid here because I would love to get in a couple of sun lounges and I'm thinking I might be able to squidge two in if I can bring like one there and another one just there. And I would love to get a tree here. And here she is. Let's hope we can fit this in somewhere. If I can slot you in maybe like there. Will you? Oh God, you're eating through the fence there, love. Oh yes, that's working for me. Absolutely working for me. Yes, it doesn't hurt. Okay, happy with that. Happy with how this is looking. Let's get some tiles on the pool. I'm going to go for dark blue everywhere. So the water depth. Whenever I put like dark tiles in the pool, I love the way it kind of changes the depth of it. It makes it look deeper. And I'm absolutely for that. I would love some kind of dining space out here as well. So I would like a barbecue too. Maybe you could put the barbecue over in this corner. And maybe changing the colour. Do we want to go yellow? Let's have a look at the green again. Oh no, actually the green's nice. We'll stick with the green. I'm going to pull out some dine a dining room table and chairs. And maybe some plants and stuff for this part. Uh, I wouldn't mind something over here as well. We've got a space here that could be filled with something. Maybe. Let's see what I can find. Now, nothing much, but what I've done is just separated these two a little bit more. Put a little coffee table down with some books and some candles out here. I just thought that would have been a nice vibe. I ended up moving the barbecue air area over to this area, short onto the stairs, so we've got enough room over there. Just, it makes sense to have it over here rather than over there. Like, you know, little dining room table and chairs. We've put a little ceiling fan up. Lighting a plant that I am going to push in a little bit tighter. There we go. Um, and a window box. Just kept it really simple. And I think that's going to work out quite nicely. Oh, I'm for it. I also put a pillar in as well, just to make it look like it's holding up this side of the, um, the roof. And do you know what, guys? Thriving, vibing, all of that good stuff. So we're going to make our way into the interior now. What I'm going to do is go ahead and choose all the wallpapers and flooring. Let me do that and I'm going to grab out some objects. And I think what we're going to start on first is the kitchen area and the dining room area as well. And there's a plant poking in there. Stop it. 
I mean, I said kitsch and that's what we're going for. So I've gone for this tile, this tile on the floor, the base game one and this jungle adventure tile behind the kitchen. We're going to use the new kitchen, but I'm going to go for this watch here, the blue and yellow one. Um, I've also put some wooden flooring down in the living area. I've also done a kind of accent wall with some stone because I'm thinking about adding in a fireplace in here. I think it'd be really nice to have a fireplace in here. Uh, the bedroom, I've done like an accent wall with the stone and we've used this paneling as well that's on the, the exterior too, just to bring the outside in. And that is the vibe that we're going for today, yes it is. So, this is the kitchen. Uh, played around with the layout and this really works for me. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to flop one to there. We're going to put a sink on this one, I think, and have that as the kind of work sink there with a dishwasher. It's going to be, it's going to come with everything that loves this house. I just think this kitchen looks really cute with these tiles. So this is what we're going to do. I'm uh, going to use the oven, the matching oven. And I am putting the fridge right next to the oven. Um, I'm going to put it right to here. I tried out a pink fridge and I tried a blue fridge, but this tone here just sits in well with the kitchen, I think. It's very kitsch, but I'm very much for it. I think what I want to do is bring the window to there. I think that's what I'm going to do, just so it's in line. Nice straight lines in here. Straighter than me, that's for sure. Um, I'm going to put in a bin. There we go, absolutely stunning. Unsure about cupboards just yet. I haven't trialed this, so maybe we could do that together. Maybe I could add a cupboard in here if we can use the blue ones. Oh, I forget. It's got that stupid corner piece, isn't it? We'll do shelves instead. I will do an extractor fan there, though, so let's put that in now. Yeah, we'll do that, and then I'll add up some smaller shelves in the corner here. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, dining room table and chairs. Uh there's only going to be two Sims living in here, so I'm only going to do a two um, dining table and chair. And I've picked these two. I just think that matches in well with the aesthetic we're going for, but also the colours. I just think, think that sits in there beautifully. It really does. I'm going to flop you to there like that. They've got a nice big movable space in here. Very much for that indeed. We're going to use the new Sink of Dreams as well, of course. I uh, might do a white one. Pop you to there. Yes. And then what I can do flop in a little dishwasher can't we loves we can flop in a little dishwasher and i'll pop the dish oh you can't go on that edge really maybe if i did the sink here instead then and put the dishwasher there oh i don't like the way that that looks with that it just looks odd to me so does the white though is that supposed to be the matching one i beg to differ i'm gonna put it on that side it looks better there so you're just going to have to watch when you open each of them that you don't hit the doors. But, you know, when in a tight space, sometimes you've got to make these decisions on shortcomings, you know, that's just the vibe it really is. So we need some details in here. I'm thinking a lovely little painting or something up here, maybe a plant over in the corner as well. A few little trinkety bits up on the sides here and there. And I also want to play around with the lighting. And there we have it. I think that looks really cute. So I've put a little clock up on the wall with that painting over there, a little plant in the corner, a coffee machine. I've gone for these kind of like aqua kind of greeny blue uh, pendulous lights or pendulum lights. And I've gone for this shelf as well. That shelf just fits in perfect there with the colours and stuff. Um, and I'm kind of for it. I think that looks very cute and very sweet. Um, yeah, nice. OK, well, now what we need to do. Let's move on to this area here, which is obviously going to be the uh, main living area. So I'm going to pull out, I'm going to get, I find a sofa, find a fireplace, rug. I'm thinking a plant over in the corner here, maybe. Maybe some kind of like corner unit over on this part here. Just all bits and bobs, really. Let me grab it all and we'll fling it about together. So the living room, this is what I've done. I'm going to use this fireplace from City Living and put a TV right above it like this now you will have to crane your necks to watch this because it's quite high for the sofa but we're just going to carry on anyway this little plant in the corner here this this is becoming the plant of dreams this one i used to use this all the time back in the sims this, was it in the sims 3 or the sims 2 i can't remember it was in one of them um yellow sofa we're going to go for this mid-century style one here i'm going to pull it back as far as we possibly can without the door hitting it yes that should be fine Fluffy rug. I mean, mid-century, fluffy sheepskin rug. What more could be said? I was going to go for a coffee table in the middle, but I just thought it was just too near the fireplace and too near the sofa. It just made me uncomfortable. So I've put it over in this corner here instead. 
And what I've done is put a little record player on it. I thought that was very cute. Um, I've also pulled in a lamp. Put the lamp just here like this. We've gone for the same light in the kitchen in the, the living room as well. Um, yeah, put the lamp over the sofa here. I don't, I preferred it in that position, to be honest. Let's flop you in like that. And then I haven't used it. I don't know. I cannot even remember the last time I used this bookcase, but we're using it today. We are using it today and I'm putting it on a jaunty angle, loves. What's come over me putting things on a jaunty? But there we go. I think that's going to be absolutely perfect. We do need to make sure it's not creeping into the wall though, Aiden. The door should be able to open there perfectly. And Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt. I think that is really cute. Oh, look at that. That's very sweet. I do enjoy it. Yeah. I like that a lot. Ah, okay. Well, we're going to move on to the boudoir now. So, again, I need to pull out some bits and bobs and we'll flop it about together. So, bedroom. Now, very simply, very simple. But I thought this bed and this bedspread looked so cute in here. Very kitsch. And I think it's going to absolutely suit the vibes. I pulled in this side table with this lamp above it. Um, that is from the Modern Luxe Pack, I think that's what it's called. I also pulled in this little dresser, which I just think is really cute in here. Look, look. And then just to finish that off, I did have a little like old wedding picture in here. So maybe an older couple lives in here. That's why it's all a little bit dated, but still very nice kept very well and then a mirror here yes it's behind the door yes that door handle would smash the mirror when it opens but it is the sims after all and just to finish it off as well a rug and i put the rug in this position here like just underneath the dresser so you've got something nice and warm to step out onto when you finished i also went ahead and furnished the bathroom off of camera as well so little bathroom my loves, we are done. And I need to go because Daisy is whining down there because she knows it's time for a W-A-L-K. And I can't believe that she knows what that is already. She's six months old now and she knows what that is. So that's why I have to spell it out. Let's change that, um, that wall trim there. But this is it. This is my little tiny mid-century home in the world of Oasis Springs. I think it's very cute. I really do. So that's the little front garden area. It comes round into the backyard here. It's got a little swimming pool, a little area to eat your barbecue on. I just think that's very cute. It's got a couple of little lounges over on this side in the sun. Oh, very nice indeed. So in through the front door. So you can walk up the path here. And then you've got the little stairs that are off to the side here like this. And then you come through this door into the kitchen, dining and living area. So we've got a cute little kitchen off to the left in all your blues and yellows, which I think is absolutely adorable. It's got everything that you may need. Do need to get a smoke alarm in here. Let's not forget that. And then we've got a little living area over onto this side here. Music, TV, books. We've got it all, loves, including a fireplace. And then you come into the bathroom, quite simply, toilet, shower, and sink it does all that it needs to and then you wrap around this way and come in through this way into your little bedroom as well so nice little bed they do have to scoot but that's just the way it's got to be oh i do need to paint the ceiling in here as well i did forget to do that paint the ceiling with the wooden tone and then it's got access out into the garden as well so very cute very kitsch we are going to be staying in the world of oasis springs next time but as i said we're going to go for a bit more of a spanish influenced tiny home next time so that's what we're going to do my darlings anyway thank you so much for watching i will be back tomorrow with a very important video don't forget i'm going to be building a children's hospital for the great ormond street hospital charity to help fund their new cancer center for children so be on the looks out for that and as i said if you can donate tomorrow that i would love you forever but if you can't then don't worry my darlings even if you could just share the video that i'm going to be sharing up on twitter and stuff to kind of like broaden its reach that would be just as good it really would but anyway thank you so much for watching my darlings leave me some lovely comments i'm going to go and walk daisy i'll see you all tomorrow goodbye